The DJI Osmo Action 6 is on the horizon, and it could be a serious game changer. But what if DJI is gonna borrow some tech from the much anticipated DJI Osmo 360? Well, I see this as being very, very likely. Actually, they would be stupid not to. This could mean next level stabilization and very solid video quality in a super compact action cam format. Let's roll the intro. Hi, I'm Linus. Today we're gonna deep dive into everything we know about the upcoming Osmo Action 6 and why it's likely more than a small upgrade or a small spec bump. I think this one is gonna be huge. DJI is apparently building together an ecosystem of cameras and finally I think they're getting all the pieces fit together properly. I think the tech coming from the Osmo 360 will bleed over or integrate into the Action 6. Anything else would be crazy. And this would mean that we would have a brand new action camera that would completely wipe out the competition. So what does a traditional 360 cam have in common with an action cam? Well, more than you might think, actually. Sensor tech and image quality. 360 cameras traditionally use dual sensors, typically around the one inch, slightly below or slightly above. The Osmo 360, which I did a video about recently, is rumored to have a one over 1.3 inch sensor, or actually two of them. I think that this 1 over 1.3 inch sensor is going to carry straight over to the Action 6 on release. This is actually a huge leap forward compared to the current 1 over 2.3 inch sensor that's in the Action 4 and Action 5 Pro. So sensor size is definitely 100%, I think, going to be bigger. So what's so good about the bigger sensor? What's the benefit? Well, first of all, low light performance is going to be a big thing. The smaller the sensor, the less light or the less neutrons can actually hit the sensor. The bigger the sensor, the more light coming in, meaning you can film in low light situations, which is pretty important for an action camera. Another benefit of having a bigger sensor is also the dynamic range. The bigger the sensor, the bigger the dynamic range. This is why we see such poor dynamic range in mobile phones or smartphones compared to traditional cameras. One thing that sets a smartphone apart from a normal camera or a proper camera is the dynamic range. Smartphones are pretty good, but they're lacking and falling way behind when it comes to one important thing, and that is dynamic range. Next level stabilization with AI. 360 cameras require insane stabilization to keep the footage smooth and also to avoid motion sickness. Now DJI is very good at doing stabilization already, not only on the Pocket 3 that has a 3-axis gimbal built into it, but I'm talking about the action cameras. So if you look at the Action 4, Action 5 Pro, stabilization is very good, especially if you go Rocksteady Plus. Yes, you will get some cropping, but the stabilization is insanely good already. So I can't even imagine how good stabilization will be when AI comes into play. Let's talk about image processing and color science. If DJI is rolling out a new color science for the Osmo 360, chances are high that the same color science will carry over to the Action 6. This would mean cleaner shadows and more natural looking colors. If there's one thing I think DJI could do better, it's definitely the color science. I don't see the colors being natural and it takes a lot of grading to get them where you want them if you're not going with the standard profiles. If you're going D-Log M on the modern DJI cameras, it takes a bit of fiddling around to get the colors just right. Next is modular ecosystem and accessories. DJI is already pushing accessories to work cross-platform. The first clear example of this that I noticed was the DJI Mic 2. You could use the DJI Mic 2 with the Action 4, Action 5, Pocket 3. You can use the same mic across several different DJI products. 
I think this is very smart thinking of DJI, trying to lock people into their ecosystem and make it more difficult to leave. Very much the same strategy we see with Apple and have seen with Apple for a long time. If DJI could take this one step further and start using the same batteries and the same mounts for let's say the upcoming Osmo 360 and the Action 6, this would make a lot of sense. These are the rumors of the specs. We've already covered the sensor, so most likely this is going to be a 1 over 1.3 inch. The latest rumors confirm that the Action 6 will support 240 FPS at 4K, which would be amazing. Now, depending on the crop we're going to see, that's a different story. But regardless, 240 at 4K, that's pretty sick. I've also heard rumors of the Action 6 being able to shoot in 8K 30 FPS which is pretty impressive for such a small camera. I think DJI needs to come up with these frame rates to match GoPro with their Hero versions. GoPro is already doing this, so for DJI not to match, it's unthinkable. We've heard about two different batteries for the Action 6. Now, batteries per se is not super interesting. Uh, there are rumors about the smaller battery and the bigger battery. The smaller battery would be 1,770 milliamps and the bigger one would be 1,950 milliamps. So this would suggest that maybe, just maybe, there are two versions of the Action 6 coming out. One base model and potentially a Pro model. The same logic we see now with the Action 5 and the Action 5 Pro. Design-wise, expect the same footprint as the Action 5. I think the cooling is going to have to be improved to manage 4K 240. I don't see the current body and the way that's set up being able to manage these insane frame rates. Also, there are rumors about the microphones being shifted around slightly to be able to present cleaner audio. Now, personally, I couldn't care less about the microphones in an action cam. If you're going to pick up audio, meaning you're not shooting slow motion, then you need an external mic to be able to pick up some sort of acceptable sound. But when I'm using an action camera, I'm filming mostly in slow motion and then audio becomes a non-issue. Speaking about microphones, there are also rumors going around saying that we will see the Action 6 coming with a 3.5mm port, meaning we can connect external microphones straight into it. Also, the USB port is going to be faster for higher data transfer speeds, so that's always a welcome addition. Stabilization upgrades. Now, these are one of those rumors that we've been hearing for a long time and they don't seem to go away, so I think there is some truth behind this. The next iteration of Rocksteady is going to come. I can almost promise you that. I think the next version of Rocksteady is going to incorporate the AI functions from Horizon Steady already existing in the Action 5 Pro. Now, as far as stabilization goes, even on my Action 4, I'm very, very impressed. So if it's going to be even slightly better, I'm going to be super mega impressed. I think the two potential versions of the Action 6 coming out is going to be targeting two different demographics. I think that the base model is going to be more for vloggers or people who want a small form factor camera that still is very powerful and has a great deal of dynamic range and you can shoot in low light. I think that's the target market for the base model. And then if we look at the pro model, so maybe more rugged, maybe higher frame rate than the base model. I can see the base model potentially coming with 120 FPS at 4K and the pro model then coming with 240 frames at 4K. So maybe there's going to be a small distinction there, but that's going to be one of those things I'm very curious to see. Once the Osmo Action 6 drops, I'm going to be picking one up and I'm going to be comparing this to the Pocket 3 and Action 4. Now comparing it to the Pocket 3 is probably going to be less interesting than comparing it with the Action 4. So as you can imagine, I'm very excited because I'm sitting with the Action 4, I'm skipping the 5 and going straight to 6. So for me, this is a huge upgrade. I'm very excited about this. So if you want to see my test of the Action 6 with color science, dynamic range, low light footage, you need to subscribe, otherwise you're going to miss it. And as always, hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next one. Out.